When you want two or more scatter systems in your scene to have a similar look, a really useful way to arrange this is by using gscatter linked effects. Essentially, every effect layer that you add to a scatter system gets included in this linked effects list. Let's go through how to apply a linked effect. I have a scatter system set up here, stinging nettle, and I've configured the effect layers how I want, using a proximity effect layer on the distribution tab to ensure that the plant avoids the great burdock, and a musgrave texture again on the distribution tab to control where the plant appears on the emitter. I've renamed both layers so that they're easy to identify. If I want my Sticky Willy asset to also avoid the Great Burdock, all I need to do is select the Sticky Willy Scatter System in the Outliner, and then the relevant effect in the Linked Effects dropdown. This one, the Proximity to Avoid Great Burdock Big effect. The Sticky Willy asset is now avoiding the Great Burdock. How easy is that? And rather than be distributed all over the emitter, I can also have the Sticky Willy asset mix in with the Stinging Nettle by using the previously applied Musgrave effect layer. Good, the Sticky Willy is now mixed in with the Stinging Nettle because it's using the same Musgrave effect layer. If I make any changes to a linked effect layer, the scatter systems change together. This number here shows how many users, or in this case scatter systems, are using this effect. So, two, because we have Stinging Nettle and Sticky Willy sharing the same effect. If I want to make some adjustments to just one of the scatter systems, I can click on the shared user number to make each linked effect layer unique. I can now change the Musgrave effect layer settings for either of the two scatter systems without those changes affecting the other. As mentioned, every effect layer that you use in Gscatter becomes available to reuse via the Linked Effects dropdown, and you can apply Linked Effects to the Distribution, Scale, or Rotation tabs. Give it a go on your next scene. Thanks for watching.